What's up, Capstone family? Hey, this is Ed coming at you. This week I'm actually traveling, going through Reno right now. Uh, I was in Tahoe for the week for a business convention. It was amazing. And, you know, really wanted to reach out this week. Uh, inspiration coming from Evan on this one as I got a call today from my property manager. And, yeah, lo and behold, I've got a property that is leaking. And a couple different things hit me on this one. So this was a house that I personally lived in for a while with my family. My daughter was raised there, right? And this house in particular, the whole thing is flooded, right? And we're going to need to put in an insurance claim. Um, she ju they jumped on it really, really, really fast. Um, but a couple things came up. Um, the first is, of course, understanding the extent of the damage. Uh, this was a big one. Um, Evan knew what was up. Uh, she let me know exactly what was going to be expected. And the first thing she said was, hey, this is an insurance claim. Um, reaching out to the insurance company right now, I didn't know that my insurance policies, all the deductibles somehow along the lines had changed from what I thought was my deductible to now a percentage of that cost. If you've got, you know, insurance policies on your properties, make sure you know what you're going to be paying for your deductibles. Because in this particular case, as values are coming up like they are, it's like making sure that you know what that actual cost is and when that change happened is super, super, super important. So I'm definitely going to be affected there and I'll update you on how that goes later. Um, right now we've got, I mean, this is going to be a big one. They said that six rooms have been covered. Six rooms have had water damage. So it's like, this is, this is one of those that, you know, we've got multiple layers of different types of flooring in different rooms. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see how we're able to get that done quickly. In addition, how are we going to take care of the tenant, right? Contractually, we don't have to offer anything to the tenant if we're not breaking any, I mean, this is this is like an act of God, right? This isn't anything we can do. However, it's like, let's make sure that this tenant is taken care of. Because if we can take care of this tenant, this tenant's gonna stay, right? And at that point, the house is gonna be pretty much redone. Do we have to do that much right now for the tenant in order to make it like the way that she wants to be there? I don't know, like, let's see what happens. I'm pretty eager to see what the, what the actual damage looks like. Uh, but I've been told that even though the kitchen was, you know, pretty far away from this, uh, the initial extent of this damage, the, the kitchen is damaged too. So this sounds like a big one. So this will be a good one to use as an example. Um, I'll let you know how it goes as we go through it. Super stoked to have a property manager that's taking care of this for me and making sure that I don't really have to think through the heavy lifting because at the end of the day, yes, I know property management, but you know, it, it, when the team is handling it behind the scenes, they're doing this every day and they know what questions to ask. They know what things I need to be thinking about. And I'm super, super, super grateful for having them here. Look at me pacing back and forth right now. About to jump on this plane. Hope you all aren't tra traveling with the uh, Southwest right now. Cause let me tell you, every flight has been delayed from getting out here to, to getting home. Look forward to catching up next week. Thanks for watching.